not much to report today. I've done no more than the 5D painting. I've been working on fixing my mistake in the uh, tree square, corner to corner square, on the Christmas blanket for the crochet along with Terry, Yarn Joy podcast. Um, and then I've done some of that and then I got back to the blanket because I kind of really want to do more on it. I haven't got many more rows done because obviously as more stitches go the less rows I get done but I've got a few done so I've just started the rows for the baseline for the crocodile stitches this is the fun part I've been not looking forward to but yeah so we're getting there that's just the base for them so that's the back of it I'm afraid I should show you the front of it really shouldn't I because of the way I've been crocheting. There we go. Um, there we go. So we just that's the row I'm on at the moment, so it's not complete. But you can sort of see as it goes down what we've got done. And there's a lot to see in one place. And unfortunately, I haven't got my helper with me today. Um, he's upstairs somewhere um, on his computer probably speaking to his cousin that's what he does most evenings him and his cousin skype and play games um so he's up there and my husband's taking my oldest to southampton because he's staying at mate's place tonight and then they're going out and doing stuff tomorrow and that i'm not even sure if he's back tomorrow he might, he might still be staying out tomorrow i'm not sure but it's nice because he doesn't go out often so it's really good um, so yeah, I haven't got much done on the blanket. Um, I'm rapidly working through the second ball of this colour. Um, but I'm still not too bad on the first balls of all the other colours. The rest of the balls are, oh, I mean, they're a little messy. But you can tell which ones I've done and which one my, my husband done. If you remember, my husband was doing the yellow ones. Much neater. My hands can't stay stable enough to do neat ones. But yeah, so I mean... That's what's left of the second ball of this one, and this is still the first ball of this one. So it's not too bad. Um, it's actually not taking quite as much yarn as I was expecting at this point. I'm still obviously going to expect it to take much more, but I thought I would have already used much more by now. So, yeah, I'm. Not, it's not too bad. Um, I'm still really enjoying the blanket and still have many more styles to do. Um... No study today. I should have, but I didn't because I've just I've woke up tired. And does anyone get when they've just ha they have one of their arms? It's just this immense, painful ache, and it's just weak and feels dead all day. Well, this hand's been like that all day, which has made crocheting much slower. Um, so I haven't got much done. I haven't showed you the um, fixed square, have I? It's not halfway yet, so I haven't got much done on it but um which way around that way around there we go so the pattern is for yellow if, um but i'm doing orange because i want to say brighter and so that's what i've got done so so far so i've finished off the base and now on to the tree so i'm not far from halfway i think there's one or two more rows from halfway so I think it's it's coming along nicely and I don't know if you can tell in this lighting but the red I've used you can just sort of see it has a sparkle to it. Uh, it focused for a second there didn't it? Ah oh, man. But I think the blur helps you show that, that there's there's little sparkles. So I wanted I wanted the um tinsel to be more tinsel like and I can't remember who it was someone else mentioned they were using red sparkle for the tinsel I'm really sorry I can't remember who it was um, but it reminded me that I had this ball of red sparkle so this is what I'm using um, the label down so we could remember but um that's the green not the white got so many labels and I keep putting them down oh, here it is okay so it's the James C. Brett Twinkle Fashion DK so 
that's what this red is um, which is 96% acrylic and 4% polyester um, and 4 mil needles it's 300 meters 328 yards so it's not too bad and this shade is TK20 let's see if we can show you that Sorry, let's just see if we can get it to focus. Getting there. I'm almost so close. I don't know why, she's not focusing. It doesn't want to focus, does it? I don't know whether I've got the lens dirty or something. I keep her protective cap on it. But the last day or so, it just is it's really having trouble focusing. Unless it's my lighting. As I said, I've had trouble sorting out my lighting. So maybe it's that. I don't know. Sorry. But yeah, it's TK7. Try that again. TK20. And it's the James C. Brett Twinkle Fashion DK. So, see that. So, that's what it is, anyway. And I think it's come out quite pretty on it. All the rest of the yarns are the the same yarn, just different shade lots, which is the Robin double knit. Because I just have a load of that in stock, so I'm just clearing out my stock. But, yeah. I don't even know which one this belongs to, shade 53. They're all mixed up. I used to write down each one, but... Just got so many of them lying around now because I used to keep hold of them for each order. I'd always have the labels, you know, just in case. Um, but it's starting to pile up, <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have to stop keeping the labels for the orders. I mean, a lot of them's already been gone several years. There's nothing come back as being wrong with them, so you know it should be safe to get rid of them. It's just kind of a paranoia thing, I think. And I also think it comes to session seeing how much I've used. Um, I don't write down how much the yard is, it's, but seeing all those ball bands reminds me just how many balls of yarn I've gone through. <laughs> Which I kind of like. Does that make me weird? If it makes me weird, I like it anyway. <laughs> but yeah, so I think the tin using that red for the tinsel of the tree. And, um, I had it here to show you and I can't see what I've done with it. I had, it's, t I'm... It might be James Seabret as well. I can't remember. No, they were Lion Brand. And there's just like mini balls, like 25 grams. It might even be 10 grams. They're, they're really tiny balls. Um, that you sell, they sold in batches. I think it was a bag of 10, maybe. Something like that. I can't remember now. I bought them years and years ago. But they, I bought a sparkle pack. So the red one looks very much like this one. But I'm pretty sure I had a gold one. So I'm going to go through all of my drawers and my stashes and my shelves and try to find it. Because I think that would look really nice for the star. If I can't find that, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, I'd be tempted to make the star with the red and have the star match the tinsel. Which might sound a bit odd, but actually my actual Christmas tree, well my Yule tree, um has a red star so for me it's not that odd but there comes my son now hello darling do you want to hold this out for me thank you I ran the other way because that's the back of it you're showing me that's it good boy right, turn this around so 
lean back to get it all in. There we go, so that's the size of it so far. If I put my foot down a minute, Manly. Put it down so it's just level with your feet. All the way down. So it's just level with your feet. Down, down, like there. Okay, so that's on his feet. And that's just about his waist height, I'd say, wouldn't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... I'm five foot, and he's just about an inch taller than me, so... It's about half of that, so that's not, that's not bad size, is it? Thank you, darling. Thank you very much. Um, so it, it's getting there. Um, once it's blocked out, it's gonna become much bigger, so I think by the time it's finished, it probably will be as big as him. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. At one point I was tempted to use it on my wheelchair, because I want to yarn bomb my wheelchair. <laughs> um, but I think it's, one, it's going to be too big, and two, it's going to be too pretty. So I might make it the backdrop here, um, and always have it where I can see it full of colour, because everybody needs colour in a rainfall day. But, yeah, I'm going to yarn bomb my tree. Uh, my tree? What? Huh? Yarn bomb my power chair. Um, because there's a lot of cosmetic damage on it, which, you know, it doesn't bother me. It works, and that's the important part. But I like things to look pretty. So I'm going to add covers to the arms and to the backs and the seat. Um, I'll, sp I'll spray paint the bottom parts all and hand paint with my acrylic and things. But got any ideas on what I could put on the arms and the backs? Um, I want something different than a basic granny square. Um, but it also needs to be comfortable for me to lean back on. So, if you know any ideas, I mean, even, they don't have to be the perfect shape. I could probably adapt to them. So, yeah, if you've got any ideas, let me know. I just You can help me yarn bomb my wheelchair. And then, um, obviously I can't have anything that dangles down into the wheels. But, otherwise, I'm open to all offers. <laughs> so, yeah, any ideas, tell me what you think I should do with it. And then, if I like the idea, I'll put it on. Um, or if I can find a way to put it on, I'll put it on anyway. So, I think that's going to be about it for today. Um, I'm hoping tomorrow to do more of the 5D. But, um, I need to get working on those squares. Because, obviously, I've got to do two of them. And we're getting quite close to the end of February. It's the 12th now. And of course we only get 28 days, so I do need to get working on those squares and I'm really enjoying doing my blanket. So I just, I don't know timing for doing my 5D. I have too many crafts. People keep telling me I should do less crafts. But, why? I really like them. I, just, I need more hours in the day. It's simple as. I mean I haven't done any of my femo or any of my bead weaving or actual weaving or any spinning. For months. The last Fimo I did is when I made that butterfly cuff and those fridge magnets. How long ago was that? That was quite a while ago, wasn't it? And bead weaving before I even started these YouTube channels. Channels? Channel? I only have one. And I've been doing this now for just over a year, so yeah, it's been at least a year and a half, I think, since I've done any bead weaving, so I really should get that done. How do you lot do it? How do you organise which craft gets done when? Do you have a set day for each craft? Do you just suddenly fancy doing something? Um, do you have a month of one craft and a month of another? Or do you have like do one pattern then do another pattern? How do you organise it? How do you work out what you want to do? Ideas, very much welcome. <laughs> Um, so I'm waving my crochet hook at you. I'm so, I'm really sorry, and I hope it's not offending anyone. It's just it's a fidget thing, and my fidget cubes and my fidget spinners are in my handbag down there, and I can't reach them. So I'm fidgeting with this instead. <laughs> um, but yeah, I keep thinking the same as I meant to say, and I've definitely not done anything else. I'm sure of it. Well, if I've forgotten, I can show you tomorrow. But I'm pretty sure I haven't done anything else. I just had like a sieve in it. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, I noticed I went up to 320, then back down to 319, and I'm back up again to 320 at this point. <laughs> um, so welcome to all my new subscribers. I hope you stick around. Um, if there's anything you want to see, 
put it in the comments and hopefully I can do it. <laughs> um, and if I can't, maybe I can point you in the direction of someone who can do it. So I think that's it. I'm going to go back to watching the end of this originals episode, the TV show originals, um, before my husband gets back and then we'll be back on with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. when he gets back. Um, I'm a little behind on my YouTube, but I chose today to do originals and then tomorrow I'm going to do YouTube because I was getting behind on everything. So now I'm doing one lot one day, another lot the next day. That makes sense? I hope it makes sense. So tomorrow will be my YouTube catching up. So for those who I've not watched yet, I'm sorry and I will be watching you soon. <laughs> right, so... I think I've rambled enough and really sorry my other one actually turned up early hours of this morning. Um, I, I took a sleeping tablet and got um, tablet. Ugh. I took a sleeping tablet in an attempt to help me sleep and shockingly it actually worked. Unfortunately it kicked in before I had a chance to hit upload and so it wasn't until I woke up, it's re woke up again at 6 o'clock this morning that I remembered and came back downstairs and hit upload. So that's, you'll actually be getting two today. Well, I say that, but it's now nine o'clock and the last one took three hours to sort. So maybe if we're lucky, we'll get it up. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, well, hopefully I'll get this up before midnight. If not, well, it's going to be an hour or so late. But for some of you, like in America, it'll still be on time. Hi. Hey. Go time zones. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch you all later. Take care. Bye.